Hello friends, this video on fractions part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, have you ever thought of this scenario if you have two fractions such that they have same numerator? Okay, that, that's a very different scenario. So, we have spoken about like fraction where same denominator, unlike fraction, different denominator. But what about the fractions which have the same numerator? Now, we do not have a different name for this kind of fractions, but definitely we have a simple tip to compare fractions with same numerator. So, let's take an example. 1 by 5 and 1 by 7. So, when you look at these two, their denominators are different. So, that means they are unlike fractions. But when the unlike fractions have same numerator, your job becomes slightly simpler. So let us try to understand how much is 1 by 5 and how much is 1 by 7 with the example of a pizza again. As I said, the fractions are easier to understand with pizza. Okay. So you have this pizza, you divide it into 5 equal parts. Now one part out of these 5 equal parts represent 1 by 5. Right? Now you take the pizza, the same sized pizza and instead of 5 parts you divide it into 7 parts. And now one part out of these 7 parts is 1 by 7. Now looking at these two pizza, so how much is 1 by 5? So 1 by 5 would be this much, this slice of the pizza. And how much would be 1 by 7? 1 by 7 would be this slice of pizza. Now, which slice is bigger, do you think? So, this is 1 by 5 and this is 1 by 7. Now, looking at the slices of the pizza, which one do you think is bigger? Obviously, 1 by 5, right? So, with this example, what I'm trying to prove is, if you have two unlike fractions such that their numerators are the same, in that case, one simple tip to compare the two fractions is that, Look at the denominators, whichever has a bigger denominator is actually a lesser fraction. So just the opposite rule. So in this case, you compare the two denominators, one is 5, the other one is 7, which is bigger. 7 is bigger than 5, therefore 1 by 7 is smaller than 1 by 5. So whichever has a bigger denominator is actually a smaller fraction. So the tip is the one with smaller denominator is the bigger fraction, but this rule holds true only when the two fractions have the same denominator, same numerator. So let us look at another example, 5 by 12 and 5 by 21. So we have same numerators, different denominator. Which denominator is bigger? 21 is bigger than 12, right? So that means overall 21, 5 by 21 would be smaller. So 5 by 12 is greater than 5 by 21. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.